All right, so hi everybody. My name is Tony. I'm one of the admissions advisors here at St. Leo University. Um, so my role as a year admissions advisor, if you choose to move forward with St. Leo, it's to help you every step of the way from the time that you submit your application all the way up until you start classes in August. I do primarily oversee Pasco in Hernando County. So um, as we are talking to our Pasco student, um, if you decide to apply, you would be working directly with myself and my partner Malik um, to ensure that you are getting uh, through everything on time and quickly. And then if you have any questions, you would reach out directly to me. That is my email address as well as my direct line. There's no extension. So if you have any questions, feel free to jot it down and then reach out. A little bit about St. Leo, we are a private Catholic university. We were established in 1889, making us the oldest Catholic university in the state of Florida. Um, just because we are Catholic does not mean that you need to be Catholic in order to attend. We just kind of base our values and traditions on the Catholic history and those Catholic beliefs. Everyone thinks that if we're, you know, private, that means we're expensive. That is not the case. We are going to go over tuition in just a little bit. But one of the benefits of us being private is that we are smaller. Um, so particularly in our classes, we cap out all of our classes at 20 to 25 students. And as you get up in your degree, that number actually decreases. Um, I was a student here myself at St. Leo. I actually just graduated with my master's two months ago. And in one of my classes, it was just my professor and I and in the the entire eight week course. Um, so I got to get to know him real well. He ended up helping me with my thesis, even though I didn't have another class with him my entire time. Um, so you really do get that one on one attention from your professors. A little bit about the population here at St. Leo. Um, we have about 2300 students on campus itself. St. Leo does have education centers as well as our online population. So in actuality, we have about 10,000 students total. Of those students, about 46 states are represented and um, over 100 countries are represented. Um, St. Leo does pride itself on its diverse population here. Uh, so you could have the opportunity of having a student in one of your classes be from Australia or from France or Bahamas, really all over the world, um, which is kind of cool because you get to teach them a little bit about your culture and they get to teach you about their culture. Um, so definitely you get that diverse population here. As far as life itself at St. Leo. So we do have 14 residence halls on campus. Um, it is not required for you to reside on campus, especially if you live within a certain radius of the school, um, but we do have those opportunities here. Your freshman year, you're going to have a double standard. So you are going to have a, a roommate um, in your dorm and then you'll share a communal bathroom with the floor. I promise it is clean. We clean it three to four times a day. And then your sophomore through senior year, you actually have the option to live in one of our apartment style suites. Um, so what that looks like is you'll have your own individual room. You'll share a bathroom with just one other person. There are two bathrooms per an apartment. There's a kitchen, kitchenette, and then a living room as well. So we always say kind of tough it out for that first year. And then your sophomore through senior year, you will have access to your own private space. Um, as far as dining, we do require freshmen, if they're residing on campus, to have our 19 meal plan. Um, so that's three meals Monday through Friday and then Saturday and Sunday. It's like a brunch situation and then dinner because we found a lot of students don't wake up for breakfast. Um, so that's your freshman year and then sophomore through senior year because you will have a kitchen in your uh, dorm, you won't need to have a meal plan. You are still allowed to have a meal plan if you choose to, um, but it's not required. For our commuters, it's not required for you to have a meal plan, but we do have a commuter meal plan where you can purchase blocks of 10 meals um, and then just use them as you will. As far as safety, we are number one in the state of Florida, number seven in the nation. We do pride ourselves greatly on our safety. We have 24 seven campus security patrolling. And then at nighttime, we don't ever want students to be walking by themselves. So we do have golf cart escorts to bring you to and from where you need to go. Um, so again, we are very safe, number one in the state of Florida. 
As far as life on campus, we always say that if you're bored, it's because you are truly not trying. We have over 60 clubs and organizations on campus. We have academic clubs. We have honor societies. We do have Greek life as well on campus. We don't have Greek housing, but we do have Greek life. So you can join one of those organizations. If there was ever an organization or a club that you're a part of throughout your high school years, but we don't have it on campus, we would actually provide you the fund to start it on campus. So you could potentially be a co-founder of an organization here, which is pretty cool. You get your name out there. As far as athletics, we are a D2 school. Um, all games are free for students to attend. So definitely go out and support your Lions. Um, we have most of the major uh, sports. We have basketball, baseball, uh, soccer. Um, so definitely go out and support them. Uh, other things we have on campus that we do, we do off-campus trips. So what that means is um, for no more than $20, $25 for a student, we'll go to the beach for the day. We'll go to a buck game, a lightning game. Um, all of these trips include transportation to and from, as well as a meal voucher. So last year, my students actually went to Disney for $8, which is kind of cool because you can't even get lunch these days at, at Disney for $8. So we'll do that. We have two main events every year. We have the Fall Family Festival in the fall, where we invite all of our families to come onto campus, spend the weekend with their kids. And then in the spring, we have Spring Fling, uh, where we'll bring uh, carnival games, carnival rides. We'll have a concert. I'm still trying to get Beyonce to come, but it hasn't happened yet. So fingers crossed, eventually it'll come. And our most popular activity is monthly bingo. So you're thinking, Tony, bingo, why bingo? So we give out prizes for first, second, and third place. Uh, we'll give out laptops, TVs, AirPods, plane vouchers. Um, so everyone's always wanting to go to our monthly bingo. As far as our academic side. Oh, Tony, are... one second. They were asking about volleyball. Is that one of the sports? Yes, we do have um, both volleyball and beach volleyball. So um, as far as academics, these are all of the colleges that we have here at St. Leo. And here are all of the degrees that we offer at St. Leo. Um, what I would strongly recommend for any students that are interested is to go onto our website. It's just stleo.edu. You can actually click onto every single um, degree that we offer, and then you can see each class that is under that degree. And there's like a little blurb about each class as well. So you could already map out what your four years at St. Leo would look like through our website. We offer all of the course catalogs. One of the benefits of our um, degrees at St. Leo is that we do a lot of hands-on learning. So you're not just learning from a, a textbook, you're not just attending lectures. Um, we do a lot of those hands-on. So for instance, students that are interested in criminal justice, you're gonna have classes at our crime scene house where you can do fingerprinting, DNA analysis, blood splattering, splattering analysis, things like that. If you're into education, you're actually going to have a virtual avatar simulation with different classroom uh, scenarios. So you'll have students acting out, students that aren't listening, um, you know, students that are asking questions, and you'll get to interact with these virtual avatars. Um, if you're into robotics, we have a brand new robotics lab. I don't necessarily like them because they have faces, they recognize your face, they can talk back to you. So that's not a building that I like spending time in. Um, but if that's something that you're interested in, we do have those opportunities. So definitely with all of our degrees, there's some sort of hands-on experience that you're going to get. We do have a couple of different programs where you can accelerate your time here at St. Leo. Um, so the first one is the honors program. That is, um, if you get accepted into the honors program, you will receive an additional $2,000 scholarship every single year. The honors program classes take place of some of your uh, traditional courses, as we say, um, and you get a distinguished degree if you graduate with the honors program. So that's the first thing that we offer. 
Then we offer the three plus one and the three plus three program. So what this is, is you would receive your bachelor's degree in three years, and then you would receive your master's in one year or your law degree in three years. Um, we do have a partnership with Barry University in Miami, as well as Florida State University in Tallahassee for their law programs. Unfortunately, we don't have a law program here at St. Leo, but we do have those partnerships where they hold a certain amount of spots for St. Leo students. So you would get your bachelor's degree with us, and then you would go to either one of those two schools for your law degree. You can go elsewhere for your law degree, but we do have those partnerships. In order to qualify for any of these programs, if you have a 3.5 GPA, you're automatically considered for the program. If you have a 3.0 to 3.49 GPA, you would fill out a secondary application, which would go to the program chairs, and then they would evaluate to see if you were um, accepted into the programs. We no longer look at the SAT or the ACT, so we only just go based on um, your GPA. And it is, it is unweighted GPA, your unweighted high school GPA. So remember before when I said that tuition wasn't really expensive? Well, you're looking at this and you're saying $26,000 just for tuition and then $13,000 if you decide to room on board. You're out of your mind. What are you talking about? Every single student here at St. Leo does receive a merit-based scholarship based on your unweighted GPA. They range from $9,000 all the way up to $15,000. So um, based on your unweighted GPA, you're going to receive one of these automatically. There's nothing that you need to do. And you're going to receive this all four years of your attendance. The only thing that you have to do once you do receive receive it and once you're here as a student is just maintain a 2.0 GPA and maintain full-time status. So 12 credit hours per semester in order to um, make sure that you're keeping your scholarship. If you are a transfer student, so meaning that you go to um, another university first or maybe you want to get your associate degree with Pasco Hernando or Hillsborough Community College, that's perfectly fine. We'll still accept it you'll still receive one of our scholarships. So like I said, every single student does receive a merit-based scholarship. Your freshman year, you also have the opportunity to earn up to $1,000 in micro scholarship. If you submit your FAFSA early, if you submit your application early, so by early before January 15th, you'll receive $250 each. And then if you attend one of our open houses and a mid student day, you would receive $250 each. If you graduate from a Catholic uh, high school, you would receive our Catholic Promise Award, which is $3,000. And again, you would receive that all four years of your attendance. In addition to the scholarship that we offer, we also accept financial aid. So if you haven't already done so for my seniors, fill out your FAFSA, your free application for federal student aid. This is where you're gonna get all of your grants and loans. You want to make sure that you fill it out now because a lot of these grants are first come first serve and they are quickly um, going. So you want to make sure that you get the most financial aid opportunity that you can. For my juniors, if I have any here, you'll want to make sure that you fill out your FAFSA on October 1st of your senior year. And you're going to have to fill out your FAFSA every single year. I have had students that have filled out their FAFSA and gotten their merit-based scholarship and have actually gotten paid to attend St. Leo. So filling out your FAFSA is extremely important. Even if you think you're not going to get anything, you're at least going to receive this EASE grant, which is uh, funds from Florida, the state of Florida itself, simply for being a Florida resident attending a private university. And that's a $2,000 grant. So if you ask me, I like free money, so fill out your FAFSA. We also accept um, VA benefits if anyone has it. We also accept the uh, Florida Bright Futures as well as Florida Prepay. So essentially, once you apply and you get your FAFSA in, we'll be able to create your financial aid package, which will show your entire cost of attendance, as well as all those scholarship loans and grants that you receive and any out-of-pocket balances, if there are any. So it's extremely important if you take anything away, fill out your FAFSA, you can list up to 10 schools on your FAFSA. So it's not, you know, you're not making this decision on what school you're going to, but you'll definitely want to make sure you fill it out. 
most important question that I always get is how to become a lion. So it's really simple, really easy. All we need is just your application, which you can either submit the common app or you can submit the application that's on our website. There is no application fee. So you just submit your application and then you submit your transcripts. We are a test optional school, so we do not require the SAT, nor do we, we require the ACT. Um, there's no entrance exam, there's no entrance essay. Just get in your application and get in those transcripts. And because we have rolling admissions, we don't wait to tell you if you've been accepted or not. So it typically takes about two weeks for me to review your application. So then in that time, after two weeks, I'll be giving you a call and saying, congratulations, you've been accepted. Here are some of our um, social media handles. And then here is a QR code for our virtual tour. I would recommend uh, coming out to campus and doing an in-person tour. Uh, we do offer them six days a week, Monday through Friday, twice a day, 9.30 and 1.30, and then Saturdays at 9.30. So definitely come out. It is a walking tour. You'll get to see all the different buildings on campus. You'll get to see the residence halls. And then you actually have the opportunity to come back to the admissions office and go over any questions that you may have. And I think that's the end. So does anyone have any questions for me? We don't have any questions in the chat right now. If you want to come off mute and ask a question or you can write it into the chat. I know I threw a lot of information out at you. So if you do have any questions, definitely reach out. Um, like I said, I have my email and my direct line right there. Oh, there is a question. Veterinary, uh, veterinarian programs, are there any? Yes, yeah, so unfortunately we don't have any veterinary programs here at St. Leo, but what a lot of students do is major in biology. They'll get their bachelor's degree in biology and then continue on to another school for their uh, vet degree. And then are there any health uh, slash food-based degrees that are available? So as far as health, we have a couple of different health um, programs. We, we have a brand new nursing program, which we are very excited about. Uh, we have health education and promotion. We have biology with a specialization in biomedical sciences. Um, we have medical humanities with a concentration in pre-med. So a lot of students that are looking to go on to med school will take that degree. Um, and I think the second part was food-based. Unfortunately, we don't have any food-based degrees. All right, and there was one more. Can you explain a little bit more about the tuition costs? Yes, so tuition of itself is about $26,000 for the entire year, and then we have a couple of different fees as well. So in actuality, the entire cost of attendance is about $28,000, and then if you were looking to reside on campus, that's um, with room and board as well as the meal plan, it's an extra $13,000.